Okay, hang on, we're just gonna sit real quick. That's our Christmas tree. This isn't like a flashback, it is May. What the heck is that? Oh! Okay, well I'm just gonna talk to you from, from here, I think. This seems, this seems right. <laughs> this is the trials and tribulations of being a YouTuber. Hi everybody, just ignore what I look like. <laughs> I have not truly sat down and filmed a vlog since I want to say October. That's the last time I vlogged in my life. And like half of that was just kind of because like literally nothing was happening in my, in my life. If you don't know, I was applying to grad school my first semester and I was working a job and like doing YouTube. So I was like, literally, uh, I took a, I took a break for a bit then because I just like I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it and keep my sanity at the same time. And this semester has just been like all over the place too. I am finished with my senior year. That was the last like, Instagram post I posted. And I graduated this last weekend, which was so exciting. But I feel like I need to go back because I have been absent from YouTube for like a for like a bit, which I didn't explain, but I'm gonna explain in this video why that happened. Oh, hello, internet. <laughs> we have gathered here today on my bed that is currently a little bit popped because it is indeed an air mattress. <laughs> so, I've, um, yeah, um, it's been a really fun time the last couple of days because on last week, we just had all these like roofers come on our roof and they were like patching stuff up, hammering, stomping around. And we were like, oh, okay. I hope they're done soon. That was our biggest worry at the time, unfortunately. Now, <laughs> on Friday night, we thought maybe they were like done. My roommate woke up at like four in the morning to pee. And she was like, oh no, there's a little leak in the kitchen. And then I woke up at 8 a.m. And I was like, whoa. That trash can is full of water. <laughs> I had a really bad week. I happened on Friday, Saturday we were like dealing with people all day. There's like these huge industrial fans and like dehumidifiers in our living room. And we had to move everything out of our kitchen. It's such a disaster. And it's also exam week. Let's go on a little tour, huh? How's that sound? Okay, let's go. Can you hear that? Okay, so there's... I was unhinged, as you probably saw. Anyway, I did well on my exams. Surprisingly, shockingly, we both did, me and my roommate, who's incredible, by the way. She has never seen one of my YouTube videos, and um, we can keep it that way, but her sister watches. Hey, Julia. <laughs> okay, so then the next weekend, it was the Charleston Affair, which if you don't know what that is, and like, I haven't really vlogged much of my life in Charleston, but like, I do a lot of fun stuff here. So like, I am going to try and like, do some like Charleston content before I, so then if you, when you finish graduating C of C, they had this like really big party called the Charleston Affair. It is a literally the most beautiful campus in the whole world. Like it is, it is so pretty. It, it just is. And like at night they put up all these lights and there was a band, the band was fantastic. They had like these little synchronized like dance things and um, they played Uptown Funk. That's a joke between me and my roommate. I really get down to it when it comes on. But I had a really fun time. I went with my friend Sydney. We had so much fun. If you are a Charleston alumni or like you're thinking of coming here, like definitely a plus. Uh, and if you're gonna graduate, like you should definitely go. Okay, fast forwarding to this coming weekend. My parents come, we do graduation and I graduate. And this is where we get into the good stuff. So I can finally tell you guys like what I'm doing next year. I haven't been sure for a long time. And I'm gonna talk about all this because like, I applied to a bunch of grad schools all in the UK and I got into um, a couple. I got into one that I literally never thought in a million years that I would get into because it was like sort of on a whim. I was like, oh, maybe I should try this. And I can't exactly reveal like what I'm doing now just because of like, I have like paperwork to fill out and like, I don't want to like jinx anything. But what I can tell you is that I'm moving to London next year. <laughs> So in September, I will be flying to London and I'll be moving there. <laughs> and I'm so excited. And I visited before, you can see like I, I um, went with my family in like 2019, I think. 
and then um, I went last year when I was in Edinburgh and like I just love it there and there's so much art in the city and if you don't know like I studied arts management it's just like a new adventure for me and I I just like li I literally couldn't be more excited and I wanted to tell you guys for so long I found out in about March I would say so I've been like holding it in and I found out about that I was moving back to the UK in probably November. Yeah, I mean, this video is like super casual and it's just sort of like a life update. So much to look forward to. And these last four, five years have been so incredibly weird. <laughs> these last four years of my life have been like so incredibly weird. Uh, yeah. You guys know, and like if you just graduated college, like I'm sure that you feel the same way. It's with COVID, like right in the middle of it. But like, I am, so incredibly proud of the risks that I have taken uh, in college and it has absolutely, and look, I worked really hard, but then there were times when like I needed to let go and like have fun and like learn how to like have balance in my life. And I have been watching a lot of Queer Eye and you know what, like they always say that and I'm like, wait, that's literally what I'm always saying. That's what my life coach, coach Lisa said. She said that I needed to have more fun. Anyway, work hard and it'll pay off, but also have a little fun. And this has just been like the most transformative two and a half years. Um, is it been two and a half years or it's almost three? It's been almost three years that I've been on YouTube. Don't go look at my really old videos because they're super embarrassing, but it's okay to embarrass yourself sometimes because it can get you to where you're going. And uh, I am going where I am going because I decided to post weird videos of myself pretending to travel places in COVID-19 and people were like, yeah, I'm gonna watch that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't look it up. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and um, I cannot wait to like keep taking you on this journey. I have a really fun summer coming up and um, hopefully I can vlog it and maybe I can show you some of my family and my friends and that would be really cool. I definitely wanna do an apartment tour because our apartment is, um, it's kind of crazy, but it's like so, it's, it's such good vibes. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.